Rich, elitist FPV jerks hate this one weird trick. G'day, Stu from UV Futures here, and this one, well, the rich people are not gonna like it. This one is for the everyday pilots, the people who work hard for their money, they want value, they want to enjoy the skies and FPV, and they have every right to. So today, we're gonna to go through some cheap options and also some things that, yes, you're hearing this right, some free options on how you can start your FPV journey today without even breaking the bank, without even spending a dime. And the best part, a lot of times they say, hey, you need to use a computer, I understand. Not everybody has a computer, so we're going to be going through showing you some things you can also do on like some tablets and phones and things like that to get started because UAV Futures, say it with me, the hobby's for everyone and we can't wait to get you flying. So let's kick it off. The first thing I'm going to show today is, uh, this is hopefully coming up in the roof cam. This is a free sim. It's called Real Drone Simulator. There is a Windows option if you do want to use it on your computer. However, today we're going to show you some really cool stuff and you can also do some cool things with your radios combining it with this as well. So if you have absolutely nothing and you've just got a phone this is a fantastic little option. Let's set my throttle to zero. Let's go for a bit of a flight. You can actually cruise around uh, doing this. This is like, I, I would say, a very, very, very early step into how to get FPV. Where are we right here? I don't know what mode I've got this in. Uh, I need to keep my hands on the sticks right here. I'm not very good at flying with my thumbs when it comes to using the touch controls on here, but one of my favorite features about this, if I can reset this, where are we? If I go down to retry. All right, check this out. So this radio right here, this would be my number one pick for if you're gonna spend any money to get into the hobby, which you, you will need to do eventually, getting something like a great radio first off the bat is absolutely essential. And the Radio Master Pocket is my number one radio of choice and it also doesn't break the bank. I'm gonna link everything down below, but this one, it's like 60 bucks or something, which is an absolute steal. You can get this if you're enjoying FPV. You're never gonna to need to get another radio, but check this out. What I can do inside the menu right here, if I open up Express LRS, I'll put some pictures on the screen as well if this is getting blurred out in the screen. There's a little option which is in here called Blue BLE Joystick, basically like Bluetooth and then Air mode, this is what we want. Okay, this is gonna probably fly a bit better. Look at this, we can do some nice juicy flips and rolls and things like that. So with real, real drone simulator and your radio, nowadays you can actually cruise around, you can get all the practice you need. So when you actually do save up your cash, you wanna get into the hobby, you purchase your first drone, having a sim, it's one of the best ways we can get into the hobby. And nowadays having an option like this, you can use your real radio, and honestly, you don't even need a computer is a huge plus for a lot of people. I know my old man, big shout out to him. He loves like loves flying around. He thinks the crafts are really cool, but him and computers do not mix. So having an option like this where, look, if it's just your phone, it's really easy to set up. There's one file, you click install, I'll put the links down below as well, and then you can bind it up using Bluetooth to your radio. Great, he's not gonna to wanna to use the touch buttons, but he can start that, he can start his FPV journey. Now, another beauty about this, you'll see me using this in the field. I'll put some other pictures on the screen as well. If I back out of this right here, let me turn my radio off. There is things like the Speedy B app. So what you can actually do, you can do some flashing on here if you need to flash some targets to your board. You can connect up to your beta flight software. You might be out in the field and think, well, I don't have my computer with me. I don't want to run home, but I can connect this up. Now, some things use the dongle uh, that they simply plug in by USB. Some Speedy B flight controllers can use this app and they can like talk over Bluetooth as well to connect to that. And then one of my other favorite things, check this out, is nowadays with the ELRS and binding up your receivers, it is so easy to set them up, set your bind phrase, and you can use your exact phone or your tablet, you don't need to have a computer at home to be able to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi right here. Let me find my system settings. And for most ELRS receivers, you have to leave them plugged in for a little bit. It'll start flashing, and then you're gonna see the ELRS hotspot pop up. So I'm gonna give that two seconds. Thank you very much, editing. I'll show you what that looks like. Check this out. So you can see uh, right here, we have an option. It's called Express LRS Receiver, or RX. That's exactly what is right here. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to open up this page. Ooh, I've also got the sound turned right up apparently. And then if I simply scroll down here, you can see I could type in a new binding phrase. So I'd put my binding phrase in here, UAV Futures, and then make sure you don't have a space at the end, or you know, you can put in whatever your binding phrase is. I click save and 
that is now set up. That's the binding on fra phrase on here. I can do the exact same thing using this tablet. I can connect to my radio, set the binding phrase in here, and then boom, they're connected. I can go out and buzz the skies. So one thing I do want to mention, nowadays more than ever, it is really difficult to make a living on YouTube making these. So if you find these guides helpful and you're in a position to help, you might have more money. You might not need these base parts if you believe in this mission of getting people flying, enjoying the skies, no matter what the cost is. And it's not just for the elitist rich boys out there. It is for everybody. That's what we believe in UAV Futures. And with your help, uh, we can keep spreading that message. So if that is you today, you'd like to sign up, I'm gonna put the link down below. And if you're thinking about getting into FPV, doing it like this is a great way. If you've got a phone or you've got a tablet, I'm gonna link everything down below. You can simply connect up to this. You can use like Real Drone Simulator for free. You can fly around, you can get those skills, and then you can also transfer those across to your everyday FPV career. So once you get your pocket radio, or if you wanna go better, if it's great, but I love this radio. You can connect up, you can get how this feels in the hand, you can understand what it's like to fly drones, you can connect it up to here, you can cruise it around. My daughter's actually been flying around using this and that when she doesn't wanna use the PC. I say, hey, yeah, you can have a fly on here. And then you can use this as well to bind up your drones, to bind up your radios. It's a, it's a very, very useful tool. And you also don't need a computer, which is probably something I'm stressing out there as well, because it's important. I want as many people to get flying. And if that is you, I'm so proud to have you here and welcome to the hobby. FPV is great and it is for everyone, not just those rich people.